No negative consequences from retail marijuana. That is what the Manitou Springs mayor says the town has experienced since the only retail pot shop in El Paso County opened more than two months ago. But opponents say they're seeing exactly what they feared. Cardio News Channel 13's Dana Molina has all sides. It's been more than two months since Maggie's Farm opened its doors here in Manitou Springs, and business is still booming. Mayor Mark Snyder told a packed room in Palmer Lake last night he expects the city to collect about $223,000 in marijuana tax revenue. But that's not all. It really has not been uh, any unforeseen or negative impacts yet uh, at all from the opening of Maggie's Farm here in Manitou Springs. In fact, he says compared to August and September of last year, this August and September, the city has seen a nearly 17 percent decrease in marijuana-related calls for service and a 45 percent decrease in marijuana-related arrests. Admittedly, that's a, it can be a small sample size, but it's a very encouraging trend. Uh, my police department also reports that uh, any type of black market drug activity in and around our Soda Springs Park has pretty much gone away. He also says Maggie's Farm has helped boost business next door at Loaf and Jug. But opponents of having retail marijuana in town say they've seen different effects. We have uh, a lot more panhandling. Uh, we have transients. Tim Haas has been leading the effort to keep retail pot away from Manitou Springs. A lot of people that are coming to town are noticing a difference, and that difference is significant enough that they're going to reconsider whether they come and visit again. Those who want retail pot to stay disagree. Manitou has always been a place of diversity and openness and uh, eccentric, and we've also been a town of pioneers and trying new things. Both sides think voters will agree with them when they drop off their ballots. In Manitou Springs, Dana Molina, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Dana. Election Day is November 4th. Now, the question involving marijuana in Manitou is 2G.